All right, so last time we added all these enemies and this decoration, and now we want to do something about these enemies. So we're going to add an NPC with a little mission. So you want to pick out your NPC. Um, for this one, I'm going to... Let's see what levels we have. The first one I see, we'll do Jellyfish Fields. And we'll do area two. So we'll open up this. And I also need the other file. So we have this. I'm gonna hide all this stuff to make it a little easier to look at. Cause it's a mess. Okay. So now um, we have a few NPCs here we have mermaid man and we also have a plankton so we'll do mermaid man why not so select a mermaid man see what model he uses and if you noticed he doesn't exactly use the same thing as the other ones he uses an minf which i haven't really covered yet but whenever you have an animated model like a character a tiki a robot they will use this M-I-N-F so that they can get all their animations and everything, so. Luckily for us, the editor already does all of this whenever you import a character through the files. So, as you notice, there's nothing else except for these two things, which we'll get in a moment. So, I'll hide these, go to our hop, and we'll import, oh. I click on it. We'll import the next hip and hop, and we'll go to these NPCs and we'll do Mermaid Man. And now he has all of his animations. He has the MINF and the ATBL, which is an animation table. If you click on this, it tells us all of his animations. And this MINF uses that. And he has no sounds because the dialogues are separate from the actual character itself but we'll save this and now we can copy our npc so we have paste clipboard we can just put them somewhere around here make them look nice refresh and there he is so um i'm pretty sure he's still selected over here which is why he's red yeah all right so now we have him in and if we notice down here these are like garbage now because the assets aren't in the level anymore so if we come over to this we can check on it and we don't have these so we don't need a Patrick one because we're not Patrick in this level right now. We need Mermaid Man Task Box. Which, if we type that in, we will find out that is a Dyna. So here we go. We'll copy this. We'll also copy the Talk Box too because you'll need that also. So we'll copy those. Come over here and we'll paste those in. So now we have the task box, which has more missing things. And these use text. Like if we click on this, it uses a bunch of different text. So we'll go get those texts now. Mermaid Man texts, get a bunch of those. Put those in our level also. Doing like a custom character, it's a lot of work at first, but once you know what you're doing, it's not that terrible. And we have his text now, so this uses all the stuff, and it looks like a big old mess, but it's not that difficult to understand. If we go back to the Dyna, we have a talk box, which... This uses stuff from the pause menu global files to show the 
like quit prompt or whatever and we also need the teleport thing so there's one other thing i needed out of these dinos which is this point which we can have here so now whenever we click on this everything should be there and this stuff we can't see because we don't have the menu files open but that's fine if we go on this though there's a lot of things happening on here so we can look at their original level talk box and we'll see a bunch of different things so we have on signal it starts a conversation with a camera which means it will use that camera instead of the camera you, you normally use for playing the game and then it switches to this which means it actually uses it and whenever this conversation when you're done talking with them it goes back to the regular camera and on each signal it does a different thing and where these signals come from now is the text so if we go back to the text signal one teleport signal two so we look at the signal one means it will change cameras signal two will change a different camera and then teleport teleports us to this little blue mark we saw over here that teleport id and then we have a sound that plays and then we have spongebob's name who starts talking and then page rake means it switches to the next page of dialogue so it looks very complex but we don't need all of this especially not starting out so we can kind of make our own in here so we'll go to the text description text a big mess but we'll start out with removing the sound because we don't have the talking in the level you have spongebob's name and then we have another sound we'll remove that so i'll just remove all of this out of here and we need signal one signal two and signal three from their original which if we go back to the dyna those should be just cameras which makes it so you can see that he's talking to the character go back in here signal one two and three so we need intro intro sb cut mermaid cut cameras intro sb cut and what was that I, i've already lost track of it okay how about we keep the file open so that we can find out exactly what we need so i need one two and three sb intro cam sb cut mermaid cut sp intro sb cut and then mermaid cut so these three correct mermaid 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 sb mermaid sb yes so we need these paste these over here and you'll notice that they're in their original spot of the original level over here and if we click view this will actually use what the camera originally looked like in the game so we can actually edit these to have our own camera position so we'll click edit and then it uses whatever you're using in the editor so click view position and then view direction and now whenever we move away if we view that again it picked up whatever we used so maybe i want to move spongebob back a little bit more and then our next camera is for spongebob it can look like this to look at spongebob and then mermaid man can look like this look at mermaid man it's not the best but it's a start 
So now we look at our Dyna talk box with this. We have a few of these. We don't need absolutely all of these. Most of these are just cameras for the thing. So we'll close out of it. We'll remove them for now. And now we should be able to save. Make sure the other thing is saved and test it out. So our camera angles aren't exactly the best. SpongeBob is looking the entirely wrong direction, which is fine. So the front is apparently here. So we need to rotate that so that he looks at him. And then now we need a different camera angle for SpongeBob. So. Gonna edit data, get that, save it over again, and let's see our change. So I don't have a way to warp to my level because it uses Goon Goon 7. So I'm gonna have to restart the game every time I do this. So now we have SpongeBob, we have a Mermaid Man. So now that we have a basic text, we can you know, change whatever words you want in this. So we can just say, you need to be up these robots. And then we can enter a PB, which is a page break, or you can type page underscore break. so that it continues on with his text. And now that we do that, we can go in and we can look at this again. And we should have a new text here. And the cropping of the text isn't exactly the best. So We can do that. And if we X out of this text and we talk to him again, you'll notice this text is different. So there's a bunch of different texts with these. There's a reminder, which is every time you talk to him again, it will choose this text. So we can say, remove the sound from here. All of the robots. We can actually enter a keyword, so this would be I keyword robots. And then reset color. So keyword makes it red, like a red. So now, whenever we talk to him again, SpongeBob will have a different text. We can fix the cropping of it. Like, there's uh, so much you can do with this. But that's not what we're here for. We're here to start the mission. So now we have that done. Um, we can now do the same thing with that one previous video where you beat up all the tiki's you broke all the tiki's except now we can do it for these robots so do another counter and we count how many robots we have going on here we have one two three four five six seven robots so on expired when this hits zero this will set success to the mermaid man's mission and then you type his task box. So now that that's done, we need to make all the robots do this. Death. Oh. Decrement, which makes it go down. Counter. And we just 
just got to copy and paste this on all of our robots. It's a kind of slow process, but if you do paste the robots again, like you do it on one robot, and then you paste the robot with the event everywhere else, it makes it a little nicer. But if you've already placed all the robots down, then you kind of have to do this. So we have that. And now whenever we finish his mission, we have a success text, which we can now spawn a spatula with it. So we'll use one final camera and we'll also place a spatula. So first we'll place a spatula down, battle for bikini bottom, pickups, spatula. And we'll place that down and we need to make it invisible. And we also need to make it invisible. Got to do that twice. And then we'll also have a camera too. These are replaceable so that it will show us the spatula. And then for the talk box, we can have another signal that we have here. So on signal, we'll, we'll copy these top two. So on signal one, and then we type camera one. And then do this for camera one. So now we can have this on signal four and then also on signal four. We do collision visible on that spatula. So that now it shows the camera and it shows the spatula. So whenever the success text happens, we can do signal which I'm pretty sure is just signal but I may be possibly wrong so we can go look at this again or made man signal one yeah that's what it is so we'll just copy that and I don't need this level open anymore so we'll just do it here signal four insert his name just type that in and let's test it out so whenever we'll talk to him he tells us we have to break all these robots go do that they're kind of walking into the walls a little bit, but you're able to, you know, adjust it however you want. So now the mission should be finished. Good job, yellow man. And we get our spatula. Obviously, you can add, like, a delay to the spatula appearing, which I can do really quick. So I'll raise it out of the ground just a tad bit. Go back to our hip. We'll add a timer. And with timers, you can add a time. So with the time, do like 1.5 seconds. So now on, whenever we do this timer, we can have the camera thing happen. And then we can have the spatula up here. So we'll copy these. And we'll paste it over there. So... We want on signal four, this will run that timer. So whenever signal four happens, this timer will start. And then we have all of this stuff. So whenever the timer is run, when it starts, it will switch the cameras. And then whenever it's expired, it will show the spatula. And you could also have like a sound effect. You can have a sound whenever you defeat all of their robots if you really want to do. I don't think I have a sound that would be that would work very well for here. But you're also able to listen to those sounds. They're very they can be very loud. 
but you get the idea. So you can add in a sound that plays whenever you defeat all the robots to let you know that you defeated all the robots. So we'll just go do this really quick. All right, cool. So now whenever we talk to him, Oh, uh, we were standing, this is why it saves you, but we were standing on it, so. Now it's on a delay, and here's our spatula. And because this is success, it will constantly show this, but there's another text called, I think, end text. I could check the specifics right here. For after the mission ends. Yeah, so this one uses the same, but you could have like an end text so that it says a different word, so. We can just do end and it doesn't exist yet but we can make it exist so we'll do this duplicate this it says his name right no we'll do not that one we'll do this one let's name it end end text and then we could say what are you still doing here? There you go. So now whenever you finish the mission, he will say that. And that's it. it. It took a little longer than most of the videos, but now you know how to make an NPC. You can make your own challenges or like missions, I guess is what you call them. And then your reward out of it. So yeah, there you go.